Well, this is uh, how the screen looks like when you uh, log in into our uh, landstaronline.com. So I'm just going to show you guys uh, how we do it the uh, Landstar way. So you see here it says 17,000 something loads available, right? Well, I'm Canadian, right? And I'm right now I'm in Alabama. So I'm just going to type uh, the first few letters. Okay, then it finds my town. And let's say I'm gonna go anywhere in US within 500 miles to find a load for Canada. And my trailer, I choose 4853 and flat because I got a 53 flat. And the minimum RPM, which is uh, our top secret lingo for a uh, rate per mile. Let's say I want three bucks, three bucks per mile. Otherwise, they're going to be too many loads. Uh, minimum revenue, uh, let's say three thousand dollars, and that's gross, right? That's not for me. That's for uh, Landstar, and then I get a percentage of that. Um, and here you see, um, basically. Um, what it looks like like on the left uh, the field I'm not showing you is the um, agency uh, code and the phone number but here uh, you know you have the weight and uh, and the rate right and that that's how we do it we just you know scroll down of course I look at the weight you know, I don't want to hold something that's very, uh, very heavy, but the way the loads are uh, sorted, they go by the, uh, by the revenue. So that's not my revenue, right? That's, I only get a 100% of fuel surcharge and 73% of whatever's left. So, but these guys were... Uh, sending these uh, uh, oversize uh, it's like 60 feet long um, steel structures from Georgia to Saskatchewan that's why they pay so much because uh, a bunch a whole bunch of that money will go towards the permits and I talked to the guy and I just I don't like it you know of course I'm trying to get to um, Ontario where I'm from but from these parts in the states a lot of loads just go into western canada and that's what it is sk means saskatchewan and uh, alberta ab right and in incidentally i said you know to heck with it i'll go to alberta because my trailer has a six foot uh, tandem which not many guys here uh, have so I can go anywhere in uh, Western Canada and the load I, I chose was, uh, where is it, uh, Springfield, you see that's the first line is uh, the pickup location and this is delivery, like I had a load, uh, I think the guy already moved it or something. But anyway, and then if you click like on the left, there's a field I'm not gonna, I'm not showing you. It says details, and then you click on that, and that shows you, you know, dimensions and uh, if you need to top this load or not, and the agency uh, agents information. Uh, but that's how we, you know, that's how we do it. You can always get back to that. Let's say if you have too many loads. You can uh, return to uh, the search and change something here, you know. Let's say I want to go to, uh, I don't care about that, Western Canada. I want to go to Ontario, right. Let's say uh, Toronto. And let's say I, I want to be a real picky and I only want to lowest that go within 100 miles of, of Toronto, you know. <laughs> I'm not sure about $3,000, but let's say uh, $2,000 as a minimum revenue and we click search <laughs> and now we have only one load from Georgia to Beamsville Ontario 
pays a whopping 2900 bucks uh, but still the rate is pretty good see it's uh, metals uh, quite heavy 44,000 pounds uh, picks up uh, tomorrow and they want it to be there in two days well which is actually pretty good for 823 miles but uh, you know that's what it looks like it's uh, the only problem is if you're a Canadian uh, the loads are really diminish when you put in you know Canada as your uh, destination if you're in US because I cannot do loads inside US so it's it sucks but and that's why I switched from uh, the uh, step deck to f to the flatbed trailer because this way I'm getting much more uh, much more loads and I can pretty much go anywhere uh, well I cannot go to California because my trailer is a 53 and I cannot move my axles so if I had a 48 uh, then uh, there would be no no limits to where I can go so I don't know maybe I should uh, chop off the end of my trailer uh, because sometimes there's a good loads from California to Canada and and and, the, and going back so we'll see 